Hello. What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk a bit about the Crew 2 and Gamescom. So I've been talking here and there about Need for Speed and Gamescom, I've shown Need for Speed a lot of love on the channel recently, but I haven't talked about the Crew 2 a lot. And it's a shame because the Crew 2 is a game which I'm looking really forward to and with Gamescom just around the corner, we can expect to see some new gameplay. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about what I think they're going to show off at Gamescom and then what, then what I actually want to see at Gamescom. Two completely different things. What I actually think is going to be there is going to be completely different to what is actually there, at least from my perspective. So I'm going to give a bit of a, a view from both sides, give an educated guess, and hopefully get a bit of discussion in the comments and see if you guys are actually as excited for the crew too as I am. So without further ado, let's... <coughs> Right, so let's go ahead and talk about what I want to see. Now, for me, from my perspective, I want to see how the classes are going to work. So one of the main things in the original crew which made the game so great, in my opinion, was, you know, the raid specs, the street specs, all the different types of classes and specs. Now, with um, boats coming into the games and now with planes coming into the games, there's been a bit of confusion as to how the specs are going to work and even if they are going to return. Um, I assume they are going to go return because we've got circuit cars in the trailers and then we've got performance cars in the trailers, etc, etc. But I want to see what differences they've made to it because they must have tweaked them in some way to make them a bit more balanced and I also want to see how that's going to affect the boats and the planes. Are the boats and planes going to have like raid spec and stuff? I just want to see how that's going to work. Easily for me one of the most confusing things about the whole thing as a whole in terms of the crew 2 is how they're going to do the specs. I just want to have a bit of clarity on that and that leads me straight on to my next point of what I want to see. For the love of God please, 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 please if there's a Jesus above they will show customization. Customization for me in a modern day racing game is like the bare minimum you know there's there's one thing just to change the colour of the car but I think you know in the modern day in a racing game you should be able to at least do a bit more than just change your color and I think especially with the crew the fact we haven't seen any customization yet it's a bit scary um, I'm still expecting it to be there because it was in the last game it was one of the huge driving points of last game I want to see what they've done with customization not only for like the rocket bunny kits and stuff um obviously I don't think it will be licensed like it was in the last game but I want to see what they've done with that and also like the the boat customization and the plane customization because there has to be boat and plane customization otherwise it doesn't make a lot of sense to me because that was one of the things that the crew one really sold itself off it was one of the unique selling points of that game was that you can customize cars you can do whatever you want to your cars you can make it look like you're your own it can represent your actual own personality so I want to see what they're doing with customization for me in my view I would love it if they you know expanded upon it I think they kind of need to it was one of those things in the last crew it was strong but you can't have it the same otherwise it's just not going to keep up with you know modern day because a lot has changed since 2014 in terms of customization. Need for Speed's come along, they've got wide bodies, they've got front bumpers, rear bumpers, back bumpers, they've got neon in the new game. Even Forza has come along a long way since 2014. They've got wide bodies in games now, which they didn't have previously, and not just that, but they have licensed ones. I think the crew needs to step up their game in terms of wide bodies and in terms of customization as a whole. I want to see more intricate customization. I want to see the menus be cleaned up. You know, I don't want to have to go through three of the same rims, but different colors. I want to have that cleaned up. I want the UI to be a bit more smart and a bit more you know, neat. Um, so seeing a bit of a customization gameplay would be good. Um, and not only that, but like expanding on the customization. So like I said, with wide bodies, um, with ride height would be pretty cool. The fact, you know, I should be able to um, change my rim size, little things like that go a long way. So that's what I want to see in terms of customization. Now, I'm not going to be awfully upset if the little things aren't in there, like, you know, the, 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 the rim size um, and the suspension, but at least have it expanded is kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh, and a vinyl editor. I remember someone saying ages ago when the crew was in beta that that was something they'd look into but it never happened. I want to see a proper like livery editor similar to Need for Speed, similar to Forza, similar to Gran Turismo where I can actually do liveries on cars. I don't know why that's not a thing already but that should definitely be a thing in the next game. The next thing I want to talk about is PvP. Now PvP is something which I am looking extremely forward to. It was what, again one of the, the, the driving selling points of the last game. I love playing PvP. It added so many more hours to me. Um, you know obviously that mixed with the summit with the two things which kept me coming back and 
I just want to see what they're doing with PvP. I want to see what improvements they've made. I want to see what modes they've added. Um, because they added a lot to PvP from the vanilla game in the Crew 1. We had the Eliminator mode, which is kind of like a lap knockout style thing, but with a bit of a twist on it. And um, we had the Crowned mode. We had uh, all time. Uh, what, what else do we have? We had the Drift mode in the Summit. The Drag modes, obviously, in the Summit. A lot of stuff was added that wasn't in the vanilla game. A lot of tracks that weren't at, that weren't in the vanilla game. So I want to see what they've done with the PvP. I want to see how they've remodeled it because I feel like PvP is one of those things that they should be constantly improving throughout throughout all the games. Similar to customization. Customization is one of those things that yes, it's good to be in the game, but it should be constantly evolving, you know, throughout the new games that come out for the crew. So as well as the customization, I also want to see uh, PvP and how they've improved that. Now, in terms of Gamescom. You obviously don't want to like put all your eggs in one basket. You don't want to announce everything here. So those are kind of my top priorities of what I've mentioned previously. You know, customization, PvP, etc. And you know, uh, seeing how the specs are going to work. Those are kind of the three main things which they, they which I think they will show. But like I said, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. They might want to announce some of this at a later point because keep in mind the crew's not coming out till early 2018. I think it's very possible that one of those three big points I mentioned could be subtracted for some of these little points which are. I'm about to mention right now. So the first point is beta information. I think they probably will talk about beta information at Gamescom. Um, we know that there's one happening that was announced all the way at E3. That seems like so long ago. It was literally like a month or two ago. Um, so I think, you know, they will talk about beta information, what they're going to do with the beta, um, some actual like concrete dates maybe. Um, I think that's something they might put in there. It kind of makes sense for them to talk about the beta to be honest because it is slowly looming upon us. You know, we've not got long of left of 20, uh, 2017. We're already over halfway through. So um, beta information, I think, would either come now, at, at, like during Gamescom, or maybe afterwards. I think they might possibly announce a few cars. Here and there, car list reveals are kind of granted during these big trade shows. Uh, we saw it with Need for Speed at E3. There was a lot of new cars that we announced. And even with, you know, um, with um, the crew, we saw the Porsche GT3, I think it was, um, in one of the one of the gameplay trailers. There's always going to be, like, car reveals, these types of things. So we're definitely going to see a, new f a few new cars. A really little thing, which I don't think they're going to show, but would be really cool if they did, is soundtracks. I feel like soundtracks are really underrated in modern day racing games. And not even just racing games, games as a whole. Um, I don't feel like they're given enough shine. I feel like a, a soundtrack is so important to how the game feels and the vibe. Like, you can have a game which looks, like, visually appealing and really bright and really, like, really happy. But if you have a really dirty, gritty soundtrack in the background, that's going to completely change the atmosphere. I really do think that, that soundtracks as a whole are really underrated and really overlooked in modern day racing games. So maybe, hopefully, you might see that. But again, I really don't think that's going to happen. That's just something that I would personally like to see. And without rambling on too much, that's like kind of what I'd expect from Gamescom, really. I am looking really forward to the Crew 2, and I'm actually going to play it at Gamescom next week. So if you do want to see anything specific about the game and about how it works, please let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll have a full vlog talking about me going to Gamescom at some point in the next few days. Um, but yeah, that's been it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome. Stay safe and peace.